So that was a good revelation, right? Try and spend as little time as possible on social. What did I do? Oh yeah, the other thing that I did, I watched this incredible video by this YouTuber called D'Angelo Wallace, who I've kind of only become familiar with in the last year or so, because again, I've been paying more attention to stuff that's been happening on social. Um, I've got the video up on here so you can see. So this is, let's go where his eyes are open because it's not cool. But that's basically it, right? So this this kid on social, sorry, on YouTube, um, he makes these really great long form videos um, on various topics concerning, you know, YouTubers and influencers. And he's done a really good one called Influencer 19. Um, it's an hour and something long and it's really, really good. Um, it's interesting because he kind of essentially breaks down, you know, his issue that he has with a lot of quote unquote influencers who have basically taken it upon themselves to do everything in their power not to adhere to any of the rules and regulations concerning covid and gathering with you know groups of people throwing parties all the time going out and just you know completely ignoring the situation that we're living in and just pretending that it doesn't exist and i guess from the outside in it's been interesting to watch isn't it right because you know as most of you know i comment on a lot of comedians and djs and people who have basically made it uh, known that they're trying their best to ensure that they can perform in any way shape or form during the pandemic they're not really taking the virus that seriously or if they are they are kind of undermining its threat and also you know using some sort of backwards logic to justify what they're putting on shows and it's always kind of intrigued me especially like in terms of everything else because it seems like djs and comed or djs comedians and probably influencers have been probably the only people who have kind of made it their mission to do exactly what they were doing prior during a pandemic, even though whatever they do is the one thing that people say you shouldn't do when you there is an airborne virus that can spread uh, really quickly, right? And that's a big issue with COVID, isn't it? It's the fact that it can spread, it's an asymptomatic virus, right? You don't have to show any symptoms to have it, which means you can pass on to more people. That's the danger of it. And it multiplies really quickly. That's what you hear from all the scientists and shit. So they say, oh, the best way to promote, to prevent people spreading it a lot is to basically make sure people don't gather. So even if you don't agree with lockdowns, you shouldn't be gathering inside insulated places where you know there's not much ventilation um especially without a mask uh during a virus it just doesn't make any sense so but then obviously there's still a window in the fact that you can do stuff outdoors if you have spacing and the whole plastic uh screens thing there's a little things loopholes that you can make so people have been taking advantage of that as per usual it is what it is isn't it if there's an advantage to be taken someone's going to take it um but it's just interesting considering like i always think about like you know the Arctic Monkeys probably haven't played a show in front of fans in what months, if not a year, probably right since the lockdowns happened or since sorry COVID has spread. But so far, you know, nearly just about every DJ has played some version of a play grave. Some comedians done some version of a show. Um, some influencers have celebrated their birthday in some you know public space or their own home. It's just very interesting, right? There's just a certain segment of the population that I think, hmm, this doesn't apply to me. I'm not going to be affected by it. And D'Angelo Wallace does a really good job of sort of charting it. I think he breaks it into three categories. It's basically, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's like TikTok stars, influencers, and YouTubers, or celebrities, whatever. It's one of them, yeah? Celebrities, TikTok, and, and YouTubers. And he does it really well. He covers the entire gamut from like, you know, what, sometime. I think I'm going to say maybe his earliest culprit might be August of last year or something, right? He really kind of covers the entire breadth of the issue that's been happening. And... <sighs> I wonder if a positive to come from this, because, you know, we all know what's bad, you know, okay, you shouldn't be going out, bloody blah, blah, it's a tired argument. But I wonder, or it's a tired uh, take, I wonder if this will actually be a net benefit for society that will finally get over this fascination and sort of obsession with celebrity in the first place and looking for looking at them as some sort of, um, I don't know, moral, ethical compass of any sort. I always think about... Whenever I think about these things, it always comes to mind like Cardi B sitting down with Bernie Sanders. I never understood that. It's a very American thing. It's not very something they do much in Europe because um, we probably see through it a lot more. Uh, but it's very odd that that was a strategy, right, in order to kind of what? Get the vote of who? Like, what is that going? Like, it just didn't make any sense, right? But th that's the fact. That's the currency of celebrity. It's so high that they just think if they put these two people in front of a screen, it's somehow going to resonate with us, the viewing public, that we're going to think, oh, wow, 
cool i should vote for bernie because that girl that i like who makes great music or who i like her style likes him so i should like him and then bam what you should vote for me i didn't really understand that sort of thing but again it's a common tactic and i guess a lot especially with a lot of these kids most of if you think of the tiktok people they're mostly you know they have mostly um children fans and stuff so that's kind of understandable they're sort of like the newer version of boy band stars or celebrities or disney celebrities without the disney you know stamp of approval um that's completely understandable right i completely get that um they're like the cool kids you know school sort of thing i'm sure if i was under the age of 18 i'd probably be obsessed with these people too um i'm not kind of denying that i doubt it but i'm not denying that that could be a possibility but just the other side of things like the you know the normal celebrities and the youtube influencers who are like you know mostly over the age of 25 and shit i just don't understand how anyone in their right mind would be looking at these people like tana mogo and all these type of people i'm thinking yeah i want to follow your footsteps you're an inspiration to me in what sense like what because she knows how to record videos on youtube and upload them like i did I, I, it never it always baffled me the obsession people have with these people the obsession people have um over these type of people and just very very odd um and again he breaks it down really well and i wonder if um this d'angelo wallace influencer 19 video is going to be one of those things where we look back on it and think you know what this was a net positive now at least that we know these people don't really care about anything aside from themselves it can it can maybe allow us to sort of live a lives where we're not sort of um obsessed with their every move or living our lives vicariously through them right maybe that's what because i think he looked at an example i think he showcased the example of the kim kardashian birthday and all this sort of stuff and it's like you know i, I don't know if people just kind of maybe it's because people just conveniently forget and try and suspend reality and they forget how affluent and you know straight up rich these people are and now they're just nothing like you whatsoever just because they have a break down when they have a zit on their head or they cry when their boyfriend breaks up with them it doesn't mean they like you at all do you know what I mean they might have normal human emotions but they don't go through any of those struggles you do whatsoever and it's just maybe COVID has exasperated that and exposed it for what it is exactly you know a charade you know a, a facade sorry a complete hoax of a situation to kind of somehow um imbue relatability when you are essentially like you know that kim kardashian thing was a wild and she flew all her friends to a private island got them to quarantine for two weeks either side of the birthday party got them all tested private catering everything obviously it's things that you would do if you had her kind of wealth right if you had that kind of access why not and documented it and shared it and of course prepared like a statement you know explaining why she did it but it's just like god damn it man like we get it right we get you have your wish and your wealthy but you need to kind of constantly remind us and that's the kind of thing that's always really interesting like why are you showing us like we this is this is going to do nothing for us whatsoever it's mostly just a flex and a kind of like no i need to document this i need to get this up on my social i need to have record of this evidence that i've done this sort of thing and i guess the viewing public just has to kind of digest it and you know look at their one bedroom apartment and just shrug and keep it moving i guess in it but honestly i really recommend you check out the d'angelo wallace video influencer 19 it's really really good um don't get me wrong he can get a bit hysterical with the whole like you know every time you step outside someone's gonna die thing um but you know i can understand you know people have different opinions about the threat of covid but in general documenting just how different other people's covid experience has been it's been interesting because you just know when the world reopens these are the same people who are going to be like oh my god it's so nice to be outside right when they've been outside the whole time <laughs> which is really funny it's like the the dj post um that you saw of um who was it emily lenz or somebody right she was like talking about oh um i've not played in ages and then there was a there was a post of like her playing the all these parties in paris during the summers like, what are you talking about you just played a couple months ago uh, um but yeah definitely check it out the angela wallace influencer 19 on youtube really really good video really really good video